Today, we asked emergency officials about how they alerted the community to this scene in Raleigh. This massive police response was part of the breaking news we told you about yesterday. Officers saw a man with a gun walking along Millbrook Road near Glenwood Avenue, and police asked Wake County to send out this emergency alert so anyone in the area received it on their phone. WRL's Matt Tullhelm is live now in Raleigh to explain how that decision is made and how often we're going to see these alerts go out. Matt. Deborah, this is the same wireless emergency alert system that notifies us about dangerous weather when it's in our area. The Office of Emergency Management here at Wake County can send out a public safety alert anytime that someone from a police department like Raleigh or any of the towns in Wake County requests them to do that. They'd never done that until yesterday. And my wife said that, you know, be careful, there's an alert, there's a gunman out, you know, in our neighborhood. Jim Espy's wife called him with that caution while he was away from home <laughs> after her cell phone buzzed with a warning. The alerts that you get, they're so loud you can't possibly miss them, I don't think. It warned people in businesses and neighborhoods near this scene to stay inside. This is where police spotted a man with a gun run into the woods and fire a single shot that they say took his own life. And it was so helpful to know, I mean, there's people that, you know, are out walking or riding their bikes or in their, on their decks or in their backyards, little kids running around. Raleigh police requested the public safety alert go out to any wireless phone within a half mile radius. The WRL data trackers found that had the potential to get the word out to roughly 3,500 people who live within that zone. And it may have reached even more since the system is set to send the message to any phones that cross into the boundaries of the warning. All of the cell phone companies through federal law are required to be able to send that out to anybody's phone that fall within that area. Darshan Patel is with Wake County Emergency Management. He's the one who pushed the send button on that first alert. We're able to take, um, you know, a location on the map um, and we can go ahead and use that as the start to our alert. Through a system that's almost as simple and quick as sending a tweet and then we're able to actually add in all the details. Raleigh police faced criticism last October for not activating an alert during the mass shooting in the Headingham neighborhood. Patel says lessons learned from that and other incidents are helping improve how they alert the community to a threat. This is gonna become a probably more readily used part of our toolbox, but we also wanna kinda have that fine balance. We don't wanna over alert and then have folks unsubscribe or turn those alerts off. And I asked Raleigh police why they decided to send out an alert in this latest incident. They said it's because they didn't know the intentions of that man who was spotted with a gun going into the woods there and then firing that shot. They said they wanted people to shelter in place because they didn't know what could happen there. Wake County is also encouraging people to sign up for Ready Wake. That is a separate alert system that you can opt into and it'll send out certain alerts, whatever you want to get them for wherever you want them to be notified uh, for your location. Nice tools to try to keep people safe. Matt Tallhelm, live in Raleigh. Thanks, Matt.